obviously with the T20 World Cup in mind, just a, just a few weeks away, that's definitely one of the, the things that we know from, from the, the games we play here. We want to get our co combinations right, make sure that we hit the ground running when we get to Australia. But all in all, I still think we can take some of the momentum from the 50 over cricket. That's always good um, for us, 3-0, whitewash. It's, it's something really special to do this in their conditions. But we definitely know that it's a change of format and we know what a dangerous side they can be and they would come hard. But I do also think that uh, we've got what it takes to, to come out on top again. Very important. Um, I felt that we've done really well in the last three games we played. Now it's over to T20 cricket. We know that we've got the World Cup around the corner. So I'm really excited to get up and running. I think the girls have enjoyed the hit out in the middle today. So obviously looking forward to tomorrow's game. But obviously it's building blocks for the World Cup. So going to try and get a good start with us with the bat and the ball. No, it's very important. I think we've been there in the past where you kind of just let your guard down a little bit because you feel like you, you've done well. But I think cricket's got a funny way, Mother Nature, um, and, and it brings you back. So I think for all in all, uh, we know it's a different format. We need to start. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. Playing field's equal now again. But the most important thing is for us, it's preparation for the World Cup. So regardless of what happens here, we definitely want to play, play well, get momentum going. But most importantly, we need to make sure we peak at the right time, which is at the T20 World Cup. No, I'm really excited. It's been quite a while since I played 50 over cricket. So um, I'm happy that that's out of the way now and I can focus on the T20. You know, it's very quick and the intensity is very high so obviously going to sort of good at the bat and then obviously take it through and, and be ready for the World Cup. Yeah I think it's fantastic in the 50 over tournament now for the first time in a very long time we had a full strength squad and I think it's very important to see what Danae brings when she comes back and, and somebody like a Chloe that's a vice captain so I mean it's two important players your captain and your vice captain haven't been around so for us it's, it's definitely awesome to have them back and uh, I do think both of them play such a big a big role especially Danae is one of the best all-rounders in the world and then Chloe is becoming a very good all-rounder with her left arm spin at the moment and then obviously we know how destructive she can be with the bat so it's one of those things I have to play against her at the big bash and it's always nicer having her in my side play with me than against her. Obviously we know New Zealand is a really good team so for us to be able to play them before World Cup is really uh, crucial for us and kind of just make sure that we're going to the World Cup 100% happy with everything that we've done here so it'll be really good to have a good start with us um, so looking forward to tomorrow's game. In a T20 format sometimes one batter or a bowler can take the game away. We pride ourselves on being one of the best bowling attacks in the world and I think our bowlers have some really good plans against both of those two players and I think what we've seen from the ODIs is if, if we get their wickets early, the, the rest of the batting lineup are under a bit of pressure. So hopefully we can do the same, but not taking anything. We know they are both very quality players and they'll probably come back even stronger. So we're going to just make sure that we, we keep it nice and tight and, and, and back our strengths. No, it's been really good. Um, you know, everyone's been watching, been following, which has been fantastic. At the end of the day, we want to make South Africa proud, and I feel like the girls have done really well over the last three games. I think they've they've showed they've showcased their skill to everyone, and it's been fantastic to be part of it. So yeah, hopefully the next few games is just as good.